aka akaya aka jiova ne mema holwe bubeya kele ruari ne mno easy can do can i dig ya tata aka akaya aka jiova ne mema Indeed, our Lord Ton Shishagwara, the mighty hand of God that does valiantly, that does wonderful things. Let us pray. Jehovah, we say thank you. Your hands indeed do mighty things. You are God of all flesh, and there is nothing too difficult for you. And that is why we're asking that you heal us from inside out. Heal our pains, heal our problems, heal our aches, heal our past, and bring us to a glorious future and a glorious destiny. In Jesus' name, amen. My name is Dr. Malala Matesha. I know I don't always introduce myself, but by now you should know me. If you've not watched other videos, you need to go and watch them. You need to subscribe. You need to grow this. You need to share this. I don't know how to promote myself, but if you've been blessed, why don't you do the promotion? Why don't you do the publicity or the advertising if we have to do it? Today's topic is one that many people need because of the pain that people carry from their past i met a lady who never remembered she was the head the captain the head girl in her school because she was pained she was carrying pain healing her hurts healing her hurts there are different kinds of healing sought by those who face one affliction or the other when we need emotional healing, we hurt, and it could be severe, yet surgery may not be required. I know the Lord God Almighty who is able to make grace abound in all spheres, and he heals. I use the hashtag, I heal. Some have crucified, or okay, not crucified now, I'm not Jesus. Some have criticized, some have condemned me for calling myself a healer. You can call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. But part of what God called me to do is to heal minds. If my father is the healer, that makes me a healer. So yes, I heal minds. I heal minds. I have seen lives transformed through the power of God's healing in their minds. I do not claim that, that I can make the blind see. I may be able to if I pray with one. I know I always pray for those I see on the streets who have visible or apparent insanity. And some I never see them again. Some I see them again. But I know that God has called me to create smiles, to heal minds. So I use the hashtag I heal. If Jesus healed, I am his daughter. It follows that I am able to heal as well and I heal by the power of the almighty God. Jesus was hurt when his senior special assistants, in quotes, chose to sleep rather than stand with him in prayers. As a child of God, you could have been hurt. I preached a sermon in that line titled, he Hurting Healers. The healers were hurting. The healer was hurting. He spoke out against them, yet he continued to show the disciples love and care. What, what does Pastor Emeritus Charles Stanley say about hurts and healing? And how can you imbibe this or teach to others seeking healing from hurts? I want you to go and look for that video. Pastor Emeritus Charles Stanley, somebody I respect. I have never met him. I have never sown into his ministry. I really should do that. But I have watched a number of his videos and I have drawn strength from his videos. 
another person is Joel Austin, Pastor Joel Austin. But I was so glad when while I was in Texas, God reminded me, oh, this is where his church is. I went and I made sure that I put something in the offering basket as a gift from me to the ministry. But I need you to look for that video. It is the same title. Um, Healing Our Hurts. Healing Our Hurts. Go and watch that video. Today's transformational appeal is for you to watch the video and respond as appropriate. And I also want you to list the Bible references they used and to draw inference from them in your own response. So if you're part of the fee-based group, send your response to me directly. If you're not, you can post it. Anybody can read. Anybody can respond to you. If I am doing this in your church, then I would like to, we would watch the video together and then you would respond. But most importantly, I want to leave you with something. Let God heal you. Let God heal you. Don't hold on to a father who abandoned you at birth. Or don't hold on to the hurt of a father who abandoned you at birth. Don't hold on to the hurt of a sister who could have helped but never did. Don't hold on to the hurt of a mother who may not have supported your career. Let God heal you. Let the water of the wor words of God wash through you. Wash your mind. Please, for your own good. I pray that, the, that Jehovah in his infinite mercy will grant you the grace or will give you the courage to accept healing so that you can move forward as his beloved daughter and as his beloved son. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face to shine upon you. God be gracious to you and God grants you peace. Amen.